Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to story time with Meerkat. Meerkat. Meerkat Ultra. Thank you for always making me smile. Hi, how's everyone? It seems your friendly neighborhood meerkat didn't do content correctly with this video. Oh, regular normal YouTube content meerkat didn't seem to do it right. Aww. So we did the great, cute debate, but Kota Ibushi was the winner, so I didn't do that right either. Well, on to this list, because lists are YouTube content guaranteed to get it right. You can't mess up lists. So, list of stardom themes but this meerkat has recently lost his mind Why? so i enlisted the help of my best friend who doesn't really watch stardom especially since zaya brookside is no longer there and got back into wrestling because of alexa bliss he's aware of all the women but doesn't really know their themes so i thought it would be fun to make a video of his list of favorite stardom themes stardom has the best themes in wrestling hands down why because they feel like real songs. Wrestling theme songs have a verse and a chorus and maybe a breakdown and also some catchy intro like you smell the rock and sugar. These women have nuance in their songs. So without further ado, let's get into my best friend's list of best of stardom themes. He listened to them all blind, and all of his reactions to many were hilarious. For example, he really liked Waka's theme and imagined a Yuka Sakazaki type character until he realized it was Waka. He doesn't appreciate Saki Kashima's theme like I do. Call Tam Nakano's theme the most generic theme for a generic wrestler without realizing it was Tam's theme. Not Boy's theme sounded like overworld music for when you first ride on an airship in Final Fantasy. He liked Meltier's song, but is like, this is not a wrestling theme song. <laughs> FWC was a banger, but in his exact quote, if it wasn't so happy, it could be Randy Orton. The interesting notes is where he correctly surmised the character from the theme. Hanan's theme, he was all like, this is just high school. And some, he was able to guess the wrestler within seconds, like a good interest theme should do, honestly. Kyrie's theme was immediate. Cosmic Angels was immediate, even without them going, Cosmic Angels! Hukin Jin Dev's theme was also immediate. That song has no reason to go that hard, too, like... Julia's theme to him sounded like someone took all the Undertaker's themes and made it into J-Rock. He was mad when he realized it was Julia. He doesn't love, love, love Julia. We hold the same opinions on some songs too. Like he also thought Utami's theme is basically Malice Miser. Mina Shirakawa needed a new theme song yesterday. Himeka's theme was also 90s club music and when he realized it was Himeka, went, she deserved better. She certainly does. He thinks Mercedes money should have spent all that money on a better track though. He does like that second drop but then showed me a future money. track that did it better and was like, girl has Star Wars money. Mercedes, what are you money. doing? But the worst song in stardom for him was Lady C's generic dive bar kid rock b-side instrumental song. I agree. Like, what is that? Like, oh man, it's kid rock, yo. America, yo, it's kid rock. Now on to the top five choices. Number five, Mirai. Yes, that shocked me too. He loved the intro. The song sounds like a speedy game music like Mega Man Speed Run or Sonic B-Side. There was a lot going on in the song itself as it continued to express itself as it continued. Of course, Mirai uses this song to do her triplet clap, but that was over everywhere she went. Even drying out Saya Kamatani, Saya like. 
because she's a deceiver. Number four, Starlight Kid. Undoubtedly number one for many. I listen to this on my drives and unironically love it. He loved it too. Great opening, great sound, was delightfully surprised. The vocals, the screaming, the guitar work, the middle breakdown. This song has a lot of different moods and whoever has this as their entrance also does too. Turns out to be Starlight Kid. So go for it, extra Emily. Number three, Momo Watanabe. He had to listen to this one and Starlight twice to get the order, but he likes how solid of a drum bass track this is. Great intro, badass as he put it. This is fight music. Perfect for the Black Peach, Momo Watanabe. Bunch of anger and violence and then... And then the stardom announcer goes... What a peach. Number two, Hazuke. Total club music, unlike the other tracks that have different moods, sections, and feels like an actual song. Hazuki's has that sax riff and just rides that riff all the way, and it's dope as hell. This track is such a banger, and I agree. I love Bomb about Saki Kashima's theme, but Hazuki has the best current track in my opinion. In his words, the wrestler that comes out to this theme must be the coolest wrestler on the roster. He's not wrong. The ultra cool, chill, and dope ass chick Hazuki. No better track could ever work. But his number one, Oedo Tai's theme. If a track is not broke, it don't need fixing. They've had this theme for a while, but it never fails to kick ass. That intro with the female vocals going. <sighs> Then that dirty ass drop. I didn't even show him a well produced version and it still made the top. So that's the top five music themes in stardom as chosen by my best friend. I find it funny that three of them were Oedo Tai members. Plus, he really liked Hukujin Devs too. What can I say? Oedo Tai is dope as hell, regardless of their incarnation. But I did forget to show him my Sakurai's theme. Ah! Fuck! Fuck! I forgot to show him nine point Sakurai's theme of theurgy! Video invalid now. <laughs>